everyone, it's Rose and welcome to another Cheap Lazy Vegan video. We are back with another What I Ate in a Day. I'm starting the day off with a black coffee as usual. It's so delicious. And today I am showing you everything I'm eating. And I know it's been so long since I've done a What I Ate in a Day video and I'm so excited because I'm kind of getting back on track after being away for two weeks. So I was gone on a trip for two weeks and if you follow me on Instagram, you would know all about it, okay? Just putting that out there, okay? And I'm just kind of getting back on track and I wanna start eating, you know, really healthy again and all that good stuff. And today I also thought it'd be interesting to kind of like talk you through how I try to like eat a balanced diet on a day-to-day -day basis and you know what I do to kind of you know have balanced meals and all that good stuff because you know the word balanced is always like thrown around and sometimes it can be like what does that even mean okay so hopefully this will be helpful to especially people that are new to this vegan lifestyle and you can get something out of this video so yeah I usually try to start off with some water so I did drink some water before this I never really talk about the water that I drink but I do drink quite a bit of water so I drink some water before drinking the coffee, I do try to remember to do that because I heard that it's not really good to drink coffee before water, but I don't know, maybe that's not true, maybe it's true, who knows, okay. We also have a sponsor for today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Care Of. We will talk about them more a little bit later. But first, I'm going to keep sipping my coffee. I keep putting it down because I feel like, I don't know, I'm multitasking, it's not, it's not really working. I'm still also a little bit, a little bit ill, not ill. My, um, I had a cold while I was away and I have still have a little bit of a stuffiness going on in my nose, but other than that, I'm pretty good. <sighs> All right, let me make some breakfast. All right, so I just threw some sweet potatoes in the air fryer. I set the time for 10 minutes and the temperature for 380. Let's see what happens. And in the meantime, I'm gonna make some scrambled tofu. Woo! Now, if you guys watch my videos regularly, you do know that I have a scrambled tofu hack where I mix all of the spices that I like to use for scrambled tofu in this big jar. So anytime I wanna make scrambled tofu, I just take out this one jar instead of taking out all of these spices, but I am out. <laughs> and I was gonna make some, but I actually wanna film a video on this, so I might actually just hold off on making the um, scrambled tofu mix, but I'll just show you guys the spices I'm gonna use for my scrambled tofu, because I do like to use quite a bit. So, of course, garlic powder, must. We also have onion powder. Do you like my beautiful writing? Onion, yes, onion powder. We also have black pepper some cumin um, I'm gonna add some oregano just for fun who knows turmeric that's gonna give it the nice yellow color and this is paprika as well and who could forget one of the most important ingredients nutritional yeast you guys so yep yeah, those are the spices I'm gonna use for scrambled tofu I'm just gonna probably add I don't know I just kind of like do whatever I want at that moment so I might just add like one part of everything or maybe a little bit less like paprika, I don't know. Oh, I definitely like to add lots of nutritional yeast and lots of garlic powder and then everything else just kind of like, I don't know, I just do whatever I want. <laughs> And whenever I make scrambled tofu, I just like to chop up whatever vegetables I have available in the fridge. So this time I had some oyster mushrooms and I also had a bell pepper. So I'm just gonna chop those up. I love adding bell peppers or maybe tomatoes into my scrambled tofu. I think it goes really, really well. Mushrooms, of course, as always. So we're just gonna heat up a pan, add a little bit of oil, and I'm gonna crumble up some medium firm tofu. I'm making quite a bit because I wanted to make a bit extra for later, so this is a great way to meal prep and have some breakfast for the rest of the week, or for a few more days at least. And I had some of this veggie bacon left over in my fridge, so I decided to chop that up and throw that into my scrambled tofu as well, and that's gonna add a nice bit of smokiness and extra flavor into your scrambled tofu as well. So 
So after cooking up that tofu for a bit, that's when I can add in my spices. And I've shown you guys the spices that I chose. But once again, if to make your life easier, if you like to make scrambled tofu often, I highly recommend adding in your favorite spices into a bigger jar so you can just take that jar out anytime you want to make scrambled tofu. I'm also going to add some salt and pepper as well and mix that well. Once the spices are nicely mixed together, we're going to add in those oyster mushrooms and bell pepper. And on top of the air fried sweet potatoes, I'm actually adding in a little bit of tahini drizzle, which is something I've been really obsessed with. Just adding in some tahini on top of sweet potato. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And I'm also going to add some ketchup, of course, onto my scrambled tofu. All right, so I guess I covered the mic portion of my camera at this point, so that's great. Anyways, here's the gist of what I'm saying. Here's my scrambled tofu. I put a little bit of ketchup on top, and there's some bell pepper in there and oyster mushrooms. And here we also have some air fried sweet potatoes. As you can see here, I did not add any oil. It doesn't look as pretty, but it still tastes great even without oil. That being said, feel free to add a little bit of oil if you want to. So basically, when I try to make my meals, three things come to mind, like three main things, which is carb, protein, and vegetable. And then the other thing that should come to mind more often is the fat source, but I usually don't have a problem with adding in fats. Like, I don't like forget to add in extra fats. So to me, that's like, I don't know. But obviously you wanna add in some healthy fats as well. But the main things to keep me satiated, to keep me satisfied, and also like add some nutrients is carbs, protein, and vegetable for me. So we got the carb here from the sweet potato, trying to be as, you know, unprocessed as possible, but still not being like overly obsessed over not being processed. Okay, so sweet potato is an amazing source of carbohydrates. It's so healthy. We also have some tofu, that is the protein today. And then we have the vegetable, which is the, the pepper. And then we even have some healthy fats from the tahini. So there you go, there's my balanced breakfast. <laughs> At least, I mean, to me, I think it's balanced, but I don't know. Maybe other people have different ideas. But anyways, I'm going to enjoy this, and I'll see you guys later. I still have some coffee. Yum. Oh, guys, that was so delicious. Gotta eat sweet potato more often. Sweet potatoes are so good. And also, um, scrambled tofu, always delicious. So, finished breakfast, and usually right after breakfast is when I take my vitamins. That's because I usually eat breakfast at home, and because I eat breakfast at home, my vitamins are at home, so I take them after breakfast. However, with the vitamins I'm about to show you today, you actually can just take it to go so you don't even have to take it right after breakfast okay so as i mentioned earlier today's video is very kindly sponsored by care of so care of is a vitamin and supplements company and they specialize in these individualized packs of vitamins that they send straight to your door once a month so daily you can take one of these little packages of vitamins that have been customized and personalized to you so all you have to do is take a five minute quiz on their website and it asks you about your lifestyle your diet your goals and all of those things and then after this quiz it basically gives you a bunch of suggestions on vitamins and supplements that you might want to add into your lifestyle and then you can pick and choose whichever ones you want and then when you order once a month you get a box of these individualized customized vitamins and supplements and basically all you have to do is just take one of these once a day it's so convenient it is great for people on the go especially if you travel a lot I actually wish I got this before I went on my trip but unfortunately there were some issues with shipping so I didn't get it before my trip but if I had gotten these before my trip I could have taken just a bunch of these with me and it would just make my life a lot easier so yeah if you're on the go if you just kind of want someone to just give you everything you need in a little pout these are compostable as well then care of might be perfect for you so these are the vitamins I'm going to be taking I make sure that I get in I can't remember exactly what's in this I did this quiz a while ago but I know that there's a b12 in here I know that
that there's an omega-3 in here and you know what? I'll just list what's here okay but it's obviously customized to what I chose and what I want so you can do the quiz yourself I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out so I do feel like a part of following a balanced diet and lifestyle is just to make sure that you are meeting your nutritional requirements and one of the things about a plant-based diet is that you should be supplementing for B12 it's very simple very easy and with something like this it just makes it even more easier so yeah make sure you're taking your B12 one way or another but also see if you might want to take some other you know supplements just in case I'm not I'm not an expert so I'm not gonna tell you what else you need to take but you can take the quiz below and you can see what else you might want to consider taking and of course get your blood test done you know maybe like I don't know like a year after you start going plant-based just to like make sure that you're kind of on the right track and make sure that you're not like deficient and stuff but I mean whether or not you're plant-based you should probably be getting your blood tests done regularly just to make sure that you're not deficient in things stuff like that so anyways gonna take my vitamins yeah <laughs> all right I just had a podcast call and recording oh my god mess <laughs> just had a podcast call recording with Daniel and now I'm gonna make some lunch I I kind of want to make tofu and bean patties that's what I'm envisioning right now so let's see what happens <laughs> before I cook I'm actually gonna have a little piece of this Vago hazelnut chocolate this is vegan and I actually got it when I was in when I was in Israel because I don't think you can find this in Canada but it's so good. It's like a hazelnut chocolate and it's like seriously the best thing ever. Just kind of a little piece. Ooh. And I'm gonna cook. Gonna drink some bubbly while I prepare my lunch. All right, so I'm just experimenting here with these tofu and bean patties. So in a food processor, I'm adding in some roughly chopped zucchini as well as some white kidney beans. And then we're just gonna process that together. And then let's add that into a nice mixing bowl. And then in the same food processor, we're gonna add in the tofu. So we have a medium firm tofu here and we're gonna process that as well. Now, if I had extra firm tofu, I probably would have used that instead, but I'm using medium firm because that's what I had. And then of course, we're gonna add that tofu into the mixture as well and mix that well together. And for spices, I added in some garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and black pepper. And we're also going to add in some soy sauce or tamari, some sesame oil, and because this mixture is very wet, we're gonna add in some oat flour. Now you can add in regular flour or whatever other type of flour. You might just have to play around with the amount. In the end, I added about half a cup of oat flour to this mixture and that worked pretty well. You could add in a little bit more, but I wouldn't add too much because I don't wanna take away too much of the flavor. While the patties are cooking, I also cooked up some king oyster mushrooms and baby bok choy. To season the mushrooms and bok choy, I'm just adding in a bit of garlic salt. Super simple. Okay, so the only problem is that it keeps falling apart, so I ended up adding in more oat flour, but this is actually really tasty. The only problem is that it's falling apart, or maybe I just need to cook it for a bit longer. But we'll see. We'll try with this batch because I added more um, oat flour in this batch. But this um, is just a little bit too soft for me. So after adding in some more oat flour, the patties worked so much better. So yeah, in the end, like I mentioned, I added about half a cup of oat flour for this recipe. So that's what I would recommend. And um, it worked out really great. It was still really soft, but it didn't fall apart as easily. But these were super yummy. 
All right, here is my lunch. Again, the balance is here. We got the carb, which is my brown rice. We also have these patties. These are bean and tofu, so this is my protein. And we also have some bok choy and mushroom mix. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit of ketchup on here because ketchup is life, let's be honest. And there's my lunch. There we go, yum. All right guys, it's been a couple hours and I've just been doing some work and I also cleaned up the kitchen a little bit. And now I am ready for a little snack. So I usually do like to have a little snack between some meals. Either it'll be between breakfast and lunch or lunch and dinner or sometimes both, okay? Depending on how hungry I am, I just kind of go with like what I feel like. Tonight I'm actually going out for dinner for my mom's birthday, but it's still like three o'clock and the dinner is at like 6.30 and I know I'm gonna be hungry before then. So I'm gonna have a little protein smoothie which is one of the things that I usually go for if I have a snack and I want like a healthy snack but that's also like relatively filling and I'm gonna try out this protein powder by care up they actually have protein powder as well which is very exciting I'm a big fan of protein powders I know some people try to avoid them obviously you don't need them in your life but I just find them very convenient and they just make my smoothies just last longer in the tummy okay so let's see what I can make all right, we're gonna start off with some oat milk. I do about a cup or so. I'm using unsweetened oat milk. Half a frozen banana. A big handful of spinach. This is also frozen spinach. I'm also gonna add a handful of frozen strawberries. And some of this protein powder. So apparently two scoops is a serving, and two scoops is going to be 140 calories and 18 grams of protein. I'm just gonna add one scoop. And I'm also gonna add a little splash of water as well. And let's blend it. Actually, you guys, I always forget this, but this time I remembered, since we're talking about balance, let's add in some healthy fats. So I'm gonna add in some whole chia seeds in here. Now, some people say you should like soak them a little bit before blending them, but I don't know, I always forget. Chia seeds are a really great source of healthy fats for vegans, so I try to remember to add them into smoothies if I remember. Sometimes I like to have like chia puddings, chia yogurt, really yummy, and if you just add them into a smoothie, it works really well as well. So yeah, I'm glad I remembered to add that. All right, here it is. Just a nice green smoothie. Nice little snack. I have green smoothies really often, uh, usually with that similar concoction of like banana, some sort of non-dairy milk, some water, protein powder, spinach, and maybe some berries and stuff. So, and if I remember, I add in some chia seeds or hemp seeds or flax seeds. All of those are really good and just makes a nice filling snack. And also it's a great way to get in some like extra nutrients like you know healthy fats or some greens all that stuff so smoothies are really great and i usually don't have them now for like a full meal although i might start doing that because it's just so convenient i used to do that but i stopped and now i'm like okay maybe i'll start doing that again because it's convenient it's fast for breakfast anyways but um, i definitely like to have them as a nice snack in the day so there you go all right All right, so the protein powder is actually very subtle in taste. It's not like super sweet. I definitely can't taste like too much sweetness. So if you don't like really sweet protein powders, and if you like kind of a subtle flavor, then this might be perfect. Like I can't really taste the protein powder, which is actually quite good, because sometimes I'm like, I don't want, sometimes like I want the taste of like the sweetness from the protein powder, but sometimes I feel like some protein powders like overpower the, you know the smoothie and I can't taste anything but the protein powder and this is like a nice kind of subtle taste so I feel like if I made like a really like fruity smoothie with like lots and lots of berries and mangoes and pineapple or something then I would be able to get that real taste rather than just the taste of the protein powder if that makes sense mm. yeah it's like really subtle it's almost not maybe because I only added in like half the serving but it's nice, and oh my god, oat milk. Made it super creamy. Mmm! Mm. 
right guys so i am about to go and get ready so i can head out the door because i'm actually going to my parents house before going on for dinner so uh, that i can see nari <laughs> and uh all that good stuff but yeah we're gonna go for dinner at a thai restaurant so i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna eat there and i think just overall how i find balance is how do i say this i still have certain guidelines that i follow as you've seen here there are certain things i like to keep in mind when i make my meals or snacks but i don't overstress about it and i try to eat a variety of different foods and i don't eliminate any foods from my diet as long as it's vegan and yeah just overall i try to follow a healthy diet when i eat at home especially and then when i eat out there's a little bit of leeway there and yeah so that's kind of what i do of course i try to remember to like eat those you know foods like the healthy fats for example like the chia seeds and the flax seeds and all that stuff and I always try to remember to add in some protein into my meals because that keeps me really satiated but also I don't like to have meals that are low in carbs as well I always find that even though it might keep me full for like a while if I have a low carb meal there's something about it where I feel less satisfied so I don't know anyway so yeah I always try to make sure I have the sufficient carbs the sufficient protein and some vegetable and then I add in you know some little healthy fats here and there throughout the day my diet is definitely not perfect I think I can definitely incorporate more veggies into my diet and also more fruit but that's what I'm doing at the moment so yeah so I'm just gonna say goodbye to you guys right now before I head out because I don't think I'll have a chance to chat with you again, okay? So, first of all, thank you guys so much for watching once again. If you guys enjoyed this video and this kind of casual what I eat in a day, let me know down below. And of course, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also thank you so much once again to Kara for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out, take that five minute quiz it's linked down below and you can figure out what sort of vitamin supplements might be right for you. Yeah. So of course I went to go see Nari who is so adorable and so sweet. And then we went out for some Thai food. So I got my usual. We got some vegetarian pad thai with no eggs. We're gonna add some of those peanuts on top. And also we got some green curry. This is also vegetarian green curry with tofu. We also got some coconut rice, which is super yummy. And I also got some beer because that's part of my balanced life. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next video.